What's going on, guys? Welcome to Dig Nine Show. Today we're doing more story gaming, of course. Yeah, story gaming. The best, the greatest story gaming. We're playing Super Smash Bros. Or I guess it's just called Smash Melee. It's can you Smash Four? Some more. We're playing some Smash. Yeah, Smash Four, whatever. I was at um, <laughs> was that, right? I was at the park. It was, uh -huh. it was like a park, like with a lake on it. <coughs> where were you exactly? A park with a lake on it. Well, I mean, like what? Like, I, where? Dude, I don't know. It was a long time ago. Um, but. So I was there with my dad and his like, my like step family kind of, uh -huh. and uh, we were out there like swimming and shit. And I was like trying to hold my breath forever. Yeah. And I was like, I'm gonna hit 60 seconds, and I like almost passed out a couple times or whatever. Smart. So that, that was unrelated to the event I'm telling you about. I think that's very related. No, that was just. I me think if you if you died, that would be very relatable. <laughs> well, to the situation. Relatable. You dying is relatable. It is. But uh. Yeah, so I was, I was out there, and my dad comes out there, and he's like, "Oh, you want to go swim to like that island?" And I'm like, "No, dad, I'm not fucking stupid. Quit trying to like get rid of me." Um, <laughs> and there was this like this girl and this guy. They're probably like you know maybe like 17, and they were like on the same raft together, and they were like awkwardly just like you know staring at people like to see if anybody's looking at them and stuff, and they were just like uncomfortably just like gyrating a little bit so like it looked for sure like they were fucking each other but yeah. like super low key and it was in like a public lake there was probably like a good 50 people there right. and they were like 10 feet away from everybody just like just silently fucking each other oh it was so bizarre just cause like they, it's like they were like oh nobody knows and my dad came up to me and he's like hey he's like what do you, th what do you think they're doing and I was like if you want me to be completely honest, it looks like they're having sex, Dad. Yeah. And I'm like 14. Right. Like, what do you think? What do you think's happening over there? You think he's putting his penis in his in her vagina? I was like, I think I, I think that is. He's like, that's what I was thinking, dude. Dad, it was I'm 14. Like, they were for sure over there, and then like they stopped and they went like, and then they came back immediately. So it's like they were for sure fucking each other. Right. It's like right in a public pool or pool, the lake. Yeah. Whatever, well, I'm sure yeah. people fucking the public pool too. Yeah, I'm sure. If it's crowded enough, I, mean, I think I've seen a couple know. porns like that. Couple porns, public pool porns. <laughs> it's, a, it's a whole fucking market for that. It's a pretty fun story. I mean, when you gotta when you gotta have sex, you gotta have sex. <laughs> when you right? gotta sex, you gotta do it. I mean, if that means gyrating uncomfortably in a public park. Right. I was like, at that point, is it even fun? <laughs> probably not. I mean, or it could be. Maybe they get off on like you know being sneaky or like people watching and shit. Well, hell yeah. People are into that kind of stuff, man. Yeah, we've we've covered know. it before. Get oh, fucked, you bitch. <laughs> Fuck! Well, you kill DK and then, oh god, I was gonna say Lucario. Oh, Lucario has so much rage though, and the aura, the aura is building up. The raw. What about you, Jared? You got any weird like sexual encounter stories with people in public? Sexual encounter stories. People um, in public for five hundred. No, DK, you fucking whore! Oh, he just got you. Good. I didn't even know you could do that air in the air or that move in the air. This down B. Yeah. Apparently you can. So yeah, I found get it out. fucked. Unless that just wasn't it, that might have just been his like down, his dare. Oh, this one time, okay, I kind of have one. This one time, there was a, there's this girl, and she was like, do you know how every high school has like the gross girl, or at least like the gross group of, group of girls? Was it like fuck each everyone? No, 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 it wasn't like that. It was just like they were just like like really nasty. Oh yeah. Like they were just, you know, they were ugly. I'm just gonna say it, <laughs> and they're you know everyone was just aware of it yeah well there was this one girl who had a boyfriend and i don't know how it happened but she did and uh her name was pinky <laughs> like actually it was or that, like a nickname it was at gk it was at the school we oh. both went to yeah, her name was pinky that was her nickname or i don't know her real name is probably like sham wow or something <laughs> sham wow <laughs> but Hell yeah. uh she had this boyfriend who was about a quarter her size like no joke like this guy was tiny Tiny, tiny guy, and she was big. That's big always that, that's always how it ends up being. Yeah, and so uh, they were kind of gross, and we knew that they were kind of gross, and like they they kind of, you know, everyone knew they did drugs, and they were into yeah. like really like sketchy shit. But we were in the lunch line, and the, uh, she had a blanket over her, and then she had a blanket over uh, him, and I just didn't really think anything of it. Like they were just in a blanket or whatever, and and like cuddling in yeah. line at, at the lunch line to get lunch well uh after after lunch i had a class with her and this kind of goes to show what kind of what kind of gross person she was so i had culinary arts class with her and she sat mm -hmm. like in front of me well i'm just sitting there minding my own business and she turns around like halfway through the class yeah and she's like uh She's like, oh, I saw you at lunch today, and I was like, yeah, we. Eat. Like, yeah, we all. Eat I was lunch. like, yeah, we all eat lunch. Like, what are you? Where are you? And she was like, and I was like, yeah, okay. And she's like, did you see me? I was like, not really. Why? And she's like, 
my my boyfriend fingered me under my <laughs> under my blanket in the lunch line, and I was just like, oh, like, oh my what, god! What 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 a segue into that conversation? Right? Like, hey, did you see me today? Yeah, like, did you see me in the in the line today? Well, she's probably like, yeah, guess what was happening when you were right. like, it was probably like gets her off, and then she continued, and I was just like, oh, that's nice, thanks for sharing. And then she continued to go on like, yeah, I'm really kinky. I so like getting, kinky. I like getting tied up and having uh, my boyfriend burn me with cigarettes. And I was just like, uh, okay, I don't know you. Like right. this is a little uncomfortable. I'm gonna keep doing my thing. And she's like, <laughs> like giggles and turns around. Oh, and it was just the most uncomfortable thing. And the, my, and it, yeah, it's just no, not okay, not good at all. That's like that's it. pretty fucking gross though. Mm-hmm. I was like, hey, guess what? My fucking huge pizza roll puss was oh. being vanquished today in the lunch line. <laughs> right? Yeah. And just like what? Like you're you're surrounded yeah. by people. Like how uncomfortable is that? Like, uh, oh, we hurry up and and fuck. Dude, I'm trying, man. He's. Oh no, I'm dead. Oh, yeah. dude. I. Uh, yeah. Whatever. What? This is fucking counters, dude. They always are the ones that kills me. It's so yeah. fucking annoying. It's like, I totally fine. Uh, counters, obviously, they're part of the fucking game, but it's just so frustrating when, like, you don't get killed by, like, a move. It's yeah. like, oh, got you in the counter. Right. The thing you did to me, I just did it back. <laughs> I was doing construction up in, we had a job up in Idaho. And Idaho. So we, so we, we took a, what the fuck are the odds of that? I don't know what the <laughs> hell. It was on random, right? Yeah. Okay. CPUs, they're just, like, copying us. Right. What the fuck? But, yeah, so, job up in Idaho, and, uh, we were working on this really nice place, and uh, my boss was out there, and I was staying in a room. You know, it was like the two of us, me and the boss, and then the two other guys that were working there, and we had separate hotel rooms. Uh-huh. We were staying in, and uh, my boss is like, "Hey, man, he's, I'm gonna need you to like, you know, go way out in the car for a bit. He's like, I got this this chick coming over, and you know, mind you, I'm like 16 at the time yeah. <laughs> when I'm like working here, and uh, I'm like, okay, yeah, sure, whatever. And then I was like, it sounds fine. And then I w- I was out there for like like six hours six and he, he, hours. he came out at one point he's like exhausted and he had like he's like oh he's like is that peanut butter jar still in here i was like yeah yeah and he's like okay i'm gonna need that and then what he the like, grabbed it and he went back in the hotel room and like just never came back out to get me so i slept in the truck what? that night yeah, and he just he, this is he, your boss yeah and he had this, like weird like kinky food sex with somebody uh, while i was sleeping in the fucking cramped back seat of a truck what the fuck yeah dude it was it was fucking ridiculous and sure i went in there the next day him fired i went in there the next day he was the boss he owned the company well, what the fuck it dude? wasn't like a union job it was like an independently owned business and uh jesus christ get oh fucked get mega fuck. bodied holy fuck that was insane but yeah uh, and then i went back in there the next day and there was just like food scraps all over the room and shit there's like pizza boxes and like hoagies that were just like holes in them and shit i'm like so what? we just had massive food sex yeah with like somebody and i'm like okay it. sick dude oh you fuck killed. so you get for trying to fuck that was so stupid why they do that yeah, but so that happened. That Food was pretty sex funny. Is fun. Um, guess something you need to tell me, Jared. I've never had food sex. Well, how do you know it's I'm fun? just saying it sounds like it's fun. Oh. I mean, I don't know it, unless it's like something. It sounds like butter. <laughs> if you're gonna like have like food butter sex, sex. And butter, that sounds terrible. I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to do that at all. Oh. Yeah, get fucked, Pikachu. <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> nice. Yeah, oh. dude, you fucking suck yeah. my ass, bitch, dude. Did you see me fucking body Pikachu? Yeah, that was great. Oh, get spiked, you fucking rat. Very nice. The Pokemon go the Nicely fuck away. Nicely done. So this one time at this camp I used to go to, I think I've talked about the camp a few times yeah. uh, on store gaming, but there's this guy and this girl, and they weren't dating, but they were very into each other, very fl- uh-huh. flirty and stuff. And, I mean, they should have been dating. But uh, they're at camp, and, like, we were there for, like, two weeks. Yeah. So over the course of two weeks, you're with someone for two weeks. You know, if you're kind of into them, by the two weeks is over, you're either, you're either dating yeah. or you're, like, you know. Some fucking. Yeah, yeah. something. So anyways, it was kind of funny because they kept, they would always try and, like, seclude themselves. Uh-huh. And that wasn't really allowed, you know, because we yeah. were, like. Not supposed to sex each other. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> we're, I mean, it's it's a public camp, and we're not supposed to. Or it's a private camp, but, you know, there's a bunch of people there, and we're not supposed to go off in the bushes and fuck each other. Yeah, <laughs> but, it's kind of uh, like a given. Yeah, exactly. So, they kept trying to find, like, little times to get romantic with each other, and it just would never work. Like, they would go down by, like, 
the swing set at night, you know, because it was yeah. really dark, and they would, like, make out and shit, and then someone would see them and be like, hey, you guys can't be doing that. Well, they kept doing this, and uh, they did it a few different places, and we would all just know exactly what they were doing. Right. And one time, it was probably, like, one in the morning, but we used to stay up really late. Dude, that was fucking no, that was, tight. went right through yeah, everybody. Yeah, cool. It's like, fuck you, dude. Right. Uh, so it was, like, one in the morning, and... Uh, there was a couple adults awake, and then it was, like, me and a few buddies, and then them. So, is this you were just going there, or were you working at the camp? I was working at the camp okay. at the time. At this, yeah, at this time. So, I had more freedom to just do whatever. Yeah. And the cafeteria uh, was, like, at the end of the end of the camp. Oh, so God, we, that took away my jump. Uh, so, we'd always just hang out. Uh-huh. So, uh, we're all hanging out, and then they disappear. And for probably, like, 20 minutes, right? Yeah. And we're like, okay, uh, I don't know where they went. And then uh, one of my buddy's mom's... Who worked there as well she walked down and she uh she was a cook and so she was like hey have you seen uh you know i'm not gonna say their names but have you have you say seen it. that guy and that girl and that boy you have even seen that boy and that girl and we're like no no and she's like all right well, we need to find them because they're gonna get in trouble if they get caught and they're gonna get sent home and blah 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 get fucked dude i down beat whatever <laughs> fuck off god damn it <laughs> and so um like, okay, yeah, so we're looking for them and looking for them. We can't find them anywhere, dude. They're not by the lake. They're not by the swings. Like, we look everywhere for them, right? Well, then, my buddy Justin is like, you know what sounds good after all this searching? I want a sandwich. So I was like, okay. So we went to the cafeteria, and then we go to, like, get a sandwich. And we open the walk-in fridge, and they're in the walk-in <laughs> fridge making out. <laughs> It, I mean, and this is like walk-in fridges are cold, you yeah. know. And they've been in there for probably like half an hour, just making, just up. macking out, like macking out. just macking out. I always, know? I always was confused about that too. Like, th- like yeah, I get the making out's like a part of like being you know sexual or whatever. But how if for a half hour you were just making out with somebody? Yeah, like, I know. It's don't like, you just get fucking like either extreme blue balls at that point or just like you're okay? I'm done fucking kissing you. This is stupid. Right. <laughs> I know. Right? If you're not gonna touch well, my dick, I'm done kissing. I you. feel like that he had blue balls anyways because it was so fucking cold in the water. <laughs> Literal fridge. blue balls. Yeah, exactly. So like he walked in, he's like, "Oh, uh, this is awkward, and maybe you shouldn't be in here." And then they were just like, "Oh shit!" Like, like no one was gonna walk right. in the. Fr- well, it, it was, was kind of m- random. It was like one in the morning, and they're in. But like the walk-in fridge, like if right. you're gonna make out somewhere, why yeah. would you go into somewhere that's like like what fifty degrees and just like stay in there with the fucking cheese and milk and maybe that's what you gotta do when and, you- and make out? There's like so many other places you could do it. Tillamook's gotta get their cheese somehow. I guess so. Fuck you, Sheik. You got killed by Sheik. Ah, uh, the most nerfed character in the game. I know what the fuck. Yeah, what am I talking? I got fucking bodied super early. I also killed myself trying to be flashy. Three kills. Woo. Yeah, hell yeah, I got three. Three that time, uh, you see that? Yeah. YouTube world. Yeah. Take me, good. take me. Mm, you see. The way my old house was set up is that, like, we had the house, and then we built, my dad and I built, like, a salon for my mom, and mm. then it had, like, an office, too. She had her and, own salon? Yeah, my dad Jeez. built her a salon because she's a hairstylist and stuff. And Pretty rad. She wanted to work out at home, so we built a salon. Yeah. And it was fun, cool. That's uh, dope. Yeah, it was basically just, like, this huge side, like, farm area, but it was a... It looked like a big barn, but it was super nice, and it was long. And then uh, there was the office area, and I it was just so vacant for so long, nobody used it. Yeah. And so I was like, hey, do you, can I can that be my room, maybe? Like, that'd be cool, you know? That's a, a thing that, you know, a teenager gets excited about. Having a salon for a room? Well, it was not the salon, but, like, the little office room was, like, pretty big. Oh, gotcha. And I was like, that'd be cool, you know, maybe my own little room. Uh, and they're like, yeah, sure. And they had some stuff out there that was, like, you know, just, like, storage. And one of them was, like, this big, like, vanity, I guess. And, uh... I was out there for like you know a couple months, and I was just like snooping around through the stuff out there just because it was in my room, and uh, the bottom shelf of one of them was just full of just so much porn stuff. What? Like just so much, like <laughs> like an unreasonable amount. <laughs> like you'll never like, need that much. Porn. Yeah, like I'm like, why is this even? Who even needs this much stuff? Right. Like there was like toys. There was like Jesus. Uh, I don't even know what it, what this one thing was. It looked like. You know those little toys you play with when you're younger that like you squeeze it and like shoots out of your hand and it's got like a hole in it and uh, it's like a little tube. It's full of like gel and like stars and shit and you like squeeze it and it like rolls out of your hand. I think those were always just called dildos. <laughs> it was, it's not a dildo. It had a hole in it. What kind of dildos have holes in them? A dildo with a happy it was, ending? No, it was a fucking a it surprise was a toy. dildo. It was like a, a bath toy. A prank dildo? Uh, but it, it looked like that but it was fleshy and it was like clearly for your cock. Yeah. But, it, but it was weird because like it wasn't it didn't look like you know like a, like a flashlight or something. It yeah. just was like a meaty like 
just tube. <laughs> uh-huh. And uh, yeah, that was in there. And then there was like a, a fake mouth in there. And there was just a bunch of like porn mags and like, uh, yeah, just a bunch of raunchy shit. So like, the you hell? know, 13 year old me was just like, fuck yeah, dude. Yeah, I've just uh, found the stash of the century. And then my, uh, one of my parents came in there one time and was like, oh yeah, he's like, uh, he's like, you haven't gone through any of the stuff in here, right? And I was like, yeah, what, no. what are you talking about? There's like, a, there's like a porn like DVD in the, or a VHS in the thing. No. Yeah, right. No, you're I haven't you're done. like jerking off to it at the time. No, nope. not at all. No, definitely not. No, nope. I don't know what you're I talking never about. never do that. I do. I, porn is bad. <laughs> so did you, whose was it? Was it your dad's? It was my parents. They had both of them like a shared porn collection. Oh. A uh, stash of, of porns. And uh, the stash of porns. Yeah, it was pretty neat. Interesting. <laughs> I guess it was just, Fun little thing that I ended up discovering. Yeah. And I was like, oh, hell yeah, dude. And then I was like telling my friends about it. I was like, yeah, there's a bunch of porn things over here. And I'm like, hell yeah, dude, you just let me borrow that. And then what? I was like, that's kind of weird. <laughs> what, like your dad has a specific one and then you let someone else borrow it. And he's like, hey, son. Where's that porn? Where's I Busty Asian Babe 17? <laughs> I need that one specific. I need that. Yeah, there's a chick in there I really need right now. <laughs> <laughs> your mother's being a whore. Right. And I need that Busty bitch. <laughs> right. Oh, man. I can't say I have a story like that where I found my parents' porn. I did, however, like, almost shoot my dad with his gun. That's kind of like, I almost shot me mom with me load. And so. I, what? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So, uh, my... Again. It was very short, but my dad, uh, he has, you know, he has a gun. And it was by his bed. And I was very young. Very young. And my mom was there and saying goodnight to him. And then my mom was like, come say goodnight to your dad or whatever. And... So I walked in, I was like, hey, good night, Dad. And uh, I walked over to the bed. Fucking shit. So I walked over to the bed, and I said good night. And then my mom was still talking to him, and I grabbed the gun, and I'm like playing with it. And like they're not paying attention. And like pointing, I have like pointing like at my dad. I'm just like turning it around, like in my. I'm, I'm like six. Yeah. I have no idea. I could have easily just yeah, fucking like, pulled is, the trigger this thing? and like shot my dad. And they, oh, I got six kills. Woo! But, uh, yeah, I could have easily shot my dad. My mom finally looked over, and she was like, What are you doing? Put that down right now! And she, like, freaked out. And I was like, I don't know what I did! Dropping it I goes know, off. I was just like, oh, my God, what is it? Yeah, I didn't, like, get in trouble because, obviously, I had no clue, but still, it was... Yeah, that's, that's funny, though. It was pretty bad. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of Story Game. If you like it, hit that like button, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Yo! Yo! Bye.